my name is Ajibola Tajuddin, but you can call me Kimi. And today you're watching Conversations with Kimi, a show where we ask stuff and we make stuff. Today my guest is an award-winning producer and host of Our Lives on News 12. Please help me in welcoming Gwen Edwards. Thank you. Thank you so much for thinking of me. <laughs> no problem. I've seen you all over the place. <laughs> I've been on your shows, your show many of times. Yes. I can remember one of the first times you were here, you were tiny. Yeah, and I was singing. And you had that big voice, such a bravado at the end, stole thank the show. You, thank you. Thank you. So did you think when you were younger that you were going to be in the business that you were? I did not. I, I thought that I wanted to be a writer, mm -hmm. that I, I enjoyed reading. And of course, when you read good works, you are inspired to write good works. So I thought I wanted to be a writer. And um, I did not think of radio, television. Um, I didn't think of any of the medias until I start seeing women on TV. Mm -hmm. So I saw Barbara Walters, and I saw other women, and I said, Maybe I could do that too. So that is sort of the inspiration for me, thinking about uh, perhaps I could do TV as well. What were some hardships that you experienced as a growing up? I think um, hardships, I, I try not to call them that. I, I call them teaching, learning moments. I call them opportunities missed by me. By the other person. <laughs> but I, I, I never looked at it as a hardship. I always felt there's a reason why this is happening and I just have to uh, figure it out. One thing I have learned is that um, there are consequences for actions and sometimes if you do something uh, not thinking and then you wonder why, uh, it's because that's the consequence for that action. What are some of the perks that you get working in the news industry? Um, I think some of the perks is I, I find that I get a lot of information, um, sometimes before the public knows, uh, good and bad, but yet uh, it helps me to share it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel that I do. I share stories. I share personal stories. I share uh, regional stories, international stories. So uh, getting news feeds throughout the day that uh, lend you uh, to the things that are happening right now help me to share the stories throughout the day, throughout the week. And now you have these new mediums called <laughs> Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, and you <laughs> yeah. can share them even faster. So, yes, I think that's one of the perks is that I, I get to share with people. And I get to allow people to share their stories because I always believe that no one can tell your story. It's your story. I couldn't even paraphrase it as well as you could tell it. And you may pause and stumble when the words don't come and flow fluently, but it's your story. Being in a lot of award ceremonies and um, shows with you, um, I see that you have a nice style with you, right? I hear that a lot. Oh, I like your style. Yes. I sometimes wonder, I, I, do I talk too slow? Do I talk too fast? Um, I hopefully I'm talking where I'm comfortable. And when you feel comfortable with yourself, mm -hmm. other people pick that up. Yeah. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that. So I noticed that you have a nice style in shoes also. <laughs> <laughs> Can, do you mind if we get a close-up of your shoes now? Get that! Yes. I'm on sandals! <laughs> Normally I would have on a pair of heels. <laughs> wow. the, because it's July, I have on sandals. So with you, how many pairs of shoes do you have in your closet? I'm ashamed to say. I don't know. <laughs> Is it My husband would it? say too many. Too many? <laughs> too wow. many. I, if I had to guess, I would say 60. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me tell you how I shop, because a person asked me this before. We always have such colorful outfits. Mm -hmm. And when I go into a store, I look for color. I don't look for size. I don't look for style. I look for color. So we're coming to the end of our interview here. And the question that I love to ask to every one of my co-host, I guess you can say, <laughs> is what would you like to say to young leaders out there who would love to lead in their community? I would say to young leaders, just do it. Just get over the fear, <laughs> get over the naysayers, and just do it. Everybody was young once. Nobody came into this world with experience yeah. and knowing how to do it. And you have to just do it in order to learn. 
And I'm not saying that everything you try and turn your hand to is going to be a success. And you'll learn soon enough if that's not for you. But do it. Try it. Okay, so we're going to show our work. Today we designed shoes because, you know, she has an amazing <laughs> shoe collection of more than 60. <laughs> <laughs> My husband is grimacing as he hears this. <laughs> well, I'd like to say thank you for joining us here on Conversation with Kimi again. And I want to say to you guys, remember that your voice is your power. So use it. Kimi out. Thank you.